Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to do a little cleanup of the Sig Sauer P938 pistol on today's uh, video. Uh, a little shout out here to Defense Dad for loaning us the P938. I'll put a link to the Defense Dad channel at the end of this video and also link to some of his videos so you can check them out. We are paired up with Aegis Gun Care and Aegis Gun Care does provide the cleaning products for these videos. If you guys want to purchase any of the cleaning products that I'm about to show you here, you can click on the link down below in the description box and uh, you'll be helping out the channel. Uh, uh, if you use discount code TRAVISP11 when you check out, you will save 10%. So uh, let's go and get started talking about those supplies. Uh, but before we do that, let's verify that the pistol is unloaded. So we'll go ahead and pick up the pistol. Notice that the safety is on. Uh, what we want to do is detach the magazine by pressing the magazine release button right here. Okay, the magazine is empty. Uh, we're going to go ahead and verify that the firearm is unloaded by pulling back on the slide. Check out, check out the chamber. Okay, the chamber's empty. Let's go ahead and pull the slide back and using your right thumb, press up on your slide stop slash slide release. We'll lock the slide open and set the pistol off to the side. Okay, let's go and talk about the cleaning supplies we'll be using for today's video. All right, guys, so real quick, we'll talk about the supplies that we're gonna use for today. Uh, if you do pick up the Aegis Gun Care Cleaning Kit, you do get this nice little pouch that everything comes in. It's one of their field kits. They've got a variety of field kits that hit a variety of different price points. And uh, the higher the price goes, the more features you get, the more items you get included in the set. We'll be using these little fine tip cotton swabs to do some fine detail work. Got a little dental pick in case we need to pick anything or move anything out of the way. Uh, we do have a couple little cleaning rods that we will assemble and we can use them with the handle to assemble a cleaning rod to clean out the barrel, which is really nice. Uh, this particular field kit does come with a bore brush for 9mm, so we can use that. Also has a little jag we can push a patch through so we can clean out the barrel when we're ready. You do get the cleaning patches if you want to. I do have extras on standby. We also have a cable that you can use to pull the brushes through the barrel if you want to, but we'll just be using the cleaning rod once we get it all assembled. We have a little fine point right here that we can use for fine detail work of applying lubricant or cleaner. Uh, right here we've got the Aegis Gun Care Cleaner. It's very simple. All you have to do is just spray it on. Uh, you let it sit for one to two minutes and then just simply wipe off the excess with this little uh, cloth that you have right here. The lubricant we're actually going to apply to a patch and wipe it on and that's basically it. Wipe off any excess and you are all set to go. So that's essentially how it's going to work. Uh, also we do have a little brush head right here. You can also use an old toothbrush if you want to but this little brush head right here will go on the cleaning rod and we can use that to assemble a little brush that we will use to scrub off some of the parts. All right let's go ahead and get started. All right, so normally we spray off the parts of the gun when we're getting ready to do the cleaning process. Uh, for this particular stage, because we don't want to get the cleaner inside the magazines and dry out any kind of lubricant that might be in there, uh, just go ahead and spray a couple little sprays of cleaner on the mag. And we're just going to wipe some cleaner on and let that sit for a minute. We'll wipe it off with our cloth and then we'll come back and hit it with just a couple drops of lubricant and we'll move on. So we're not going to worry about magazine disassembly right here. Just make sure you wipe off the top. You want to get any kind of powder residue off the top of your magazine. And these are like an aluminum or steel. They clean up really nice. Not much, not much uh, carbon fouling on there. Okay, let that sit for just a moment. All right, just a drop or two of the lubricant and uh, protectant on a, a cloth here, a clean cloth. Just go ahead and wipe it on. We're going to go ahead and just hit it with a dry patch here just to take off any excess, any excess oil. You want to try to keep that lubricant obviously away from your ammo and your primers and so on. Always make sure your mags are unloaded when you do so. Oh, and if I didn't mention it earlier, you definitely want to wear some gloves um, just to keep the lead and the, and the burnt powder and all that kind of residue off your hands, off your skin. So nitrile gloves are always recommended. All right, let's go ahead and set the magazine off to the side and we'll move on to the firearm. Now what I have done at this stage is I've assembled a little cleaning brush here. This is what comes with the field kit. I just screwed the uh, brush and the cleaning rod. We just need a single um, shaft here to go through the barrel. It's a pretty short barrel with this particular pistol. Uh, but you do have the cable if you have a longer barreled firearm that you're going to be cleaning. Just screw the handle on the end, give us a little bit of leverage, and we'll continue. All right, guys, in order to remove the slide, it's going to be pretty simple. It kind of depends on how you want to hold this. There's a little like little half moon cutout that you're going to notice in the slide right here. We essentially want to align that with the top of your takedown lever, this little tab right here at this point. You're going to notice a little kind of half circle uh, that you're going to be able to see through this cut right here. And essentially, once we get those two aligned, we'll be able to press on this side. And it's, it's flush. You're going to need a little something to press on it with, like a, a toothpick, or in this case, I'm going to use the dental pick. This will allow us to push the takedown rod, uh, push the takedown button on this side, which will push the button out on this, this side right here, and it's going to come out. That'll also allow us to remove the side. It seems kind of complicated, but it's not. It's either going to be very easy for you or not. But to hold it in place, it's pretty simple. I like to pull back on the slide a little bit until I can see that little circle through this little gap right here. So this is essentially how you want to line it up. I'm just grasping, grasping it in place. I've got my finger going through the trigger guard. Now I'm going to press on the back side with this little dental pick on the button right here. 
Again, it's got to be aligned just right if you want to get that to come out. A little bit tricky. There we go. You press and let go. And essentially, this little lever is just going to fall right out. We'll set that off to the side. Just press forward. Slide comes off. Now, when you reassemble something, I want to point out to you, and Defense Dad pointed this out to me, this little hook that you see right here at the rear, you're going to want to press that down when you put the slide back on. If you don't, you get that caught, you could potentially bend that piece. So that is a tricky little step in the process. So you want to watch out for that when you do so. All right, why don't we go ahead and just uh, start up with the frame and get that all cleaned off. And uh, there's one little precautionary step that we want to take with this this particular pistol the way that it's set up and we'll talk about that here in just a moment so what i'm going to do is take a patch and just put it over the front where we have this viridian laser we don't want to get any kind of residue on that lens on the front especially oil and stuff so i'm just going to cover it up in the front and we're going to go ahead and take our cleaner just go ahead and spray down the top of the pistol a couple spritzes of spray okay we're going to let that sit for one to two minutes and soak in then we're going to wipe off the excess and then we'll get started doing some cleaning all right, so two minutes has gone by. Let's take the brush before we wipe off the excess. Go ahead and just scrub it in here a little bit. Go ahead and scrub off the rails. Now you can use patches if you want to to take off the excess cleaner or you can use the cleaning cloth, whatever you wanna do. We're just gonna go ahead and take the cleaning cloth and just wipe everything off. Now, depending on how dirty your gun is, that determines how, many, how much scrubbing you're gonna to need to do. Uh, we are gonna take some Q-tips to it and kinda of get in there a little bit and get it all cleaned out. It's a little bit dirty, but not too bad. Wipe off the back of the hammer. Okay, so I went in and took off the brush here. We're just going to take the clean cloth and just kind of push it in the grip a little bit and kind of clean it out a little tiny bit. There might be some buildup in that grip, especially if this is a carry gun. You could get a lot of stuff in there. there we go. It's a little dirty, not too bad. Let's go from the bottom. I want to be careful with that little hook right there. You obviously don't want to get caught on it. There we go. Yeah, you can see some, uh, see what came out of there. Look at that. It was pretty dirty in that pistol grip. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take the regular edge of the Q-tip and just run down these channels on the slide. In there, okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and go with on go to the other side now. Get in that channel, wipe those out. Get in the top here, and also there's a little bit of a buildup right here in this portion where your takedown lever comes out. Let's go ahead and wipe that out. By the way, you can also buy these from uh, Aegis Gun Care if you want to get some more of them. You can. You've got fine tip in there. Wipe that all out. Let's get in the front. Let's go ahead and take the Q-tip and wipe out the insides here. Go ahead and just press through that takedown lever hole. That can also get a buildup in it too. And again, after wiping it off with a cloth, this frame is nice and dry and ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and set this off to the side and we will move on to the slide, the barrel, etc. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the guide rod and spring. Go ahead and squeeze a little bit, it'll come right out. So this is not a captive guide rod, which means if you're not careful, this will launch out and the spring could fly off of it. It does come apart in two pieces. There's a little bit of a, uh, a groove right here. Makes it really easy to reassemble. Okay, go ahead and pull your barrel out. Uh, what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and spray off the inside of the slide with the cleaner. So let's do that. And the outside with the cleaner. Let's spray off the outside of the barrel, down the barrel, both sides. Okay, set that off to the side. All right, let's go ahead and spray off the guide rod and the spring. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for about one to two minutes and we're just gonna wipe everything off with our clean cloth and we will go on to the cleaning and lubrication stages of the clean. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the little brush that we assembled. We're going to scrub out these little channels right here because these are pretty dirty. So we're gonna give those a good scrub. There we go. Okay, scrub out the inside of the slide there a little bit. With this uh, nice kind of stainless, almost stainless-like finish, it should clean up pretty well. Also, the spray, uh, you definitely want to scrub out this area right here where the striker comes out. So we're going to get in there and just brush it out easily. And this stuff does an amazing job. I mean, you're just literally just wiping off the carbon buildup, which is awesome. Works really, really good. Go ahead and scrub off the outside of the barrel with your brush. Again, an old toothbrush will do the job for you if you've got one. The rear of the barrel, you definitely want to give that a good scrub because you get a buildup of carbon here from the rounds being loaded and ejected. Especially the top portion, these little lugs up on the top can get a buildup of carbon in them. All right, so go ahead and just sit that off to the side. Cleaning rod's good to go. Okay, it looks good. And uh, the spring is basically all set. All right, let's just go ahead and wipe it all up. Let's go ahead and dry everything off at this point. So we're going to get in there and get everything nice and dry. And if you have any residue in there that you can see, you can wipe that off with your Q-tips. We're going to definitely hit this with the Q-tips to make sure there's nothing left. We're going to go ahead and take our Q-tip here and just get these channels wiped out just to make sure there's nothing left in there. There we go. Those look good. Gun cleans up super easy. Use our little fine tip point here to get in here where the striker is, where your firing pin comes out. Not your striker, I'm sorry, your firing pin. There we go. Get in there, really get a good scrub on. Get in there, it looks good. 
get this little area right here where the guide rod rests. This is going to have a little bit of buildup in it too. Okay, it looks nice. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and set that off to the side. That one's all done. Uh, for the barrel, we're just going to go ahead and wipe off the barrel. But we need to scrub out the inside of the barrel a couple times, so we'll show you how we're going to do that. There we go. I'm just going to wipe it all off. Absolutely spotless. Looks beautiful. All right. And the spring. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and wipe off. Forgot to do so, but let's go ahead and wipe off the takedown lever. You can spray that if you want to. I think we'll do that real quick here. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and wipe that off. It's not too hard to clean off. It's pretty small. So now the next step we want to do, since we already sprayed the cleaner down the barrel, is go ahead and assemble your clean rod. Now if you have a bore snake, you can pull the bore snake through a couple times if you want to. Uh, we're using an old school barrel brush, so we're just going to go ahead and push everything through from the back to the front. This is a 9mm barrel brush. Okay. I don't like to pull back, it's just because I don't want to pull stuff in reverse order, so I just, I'm weird about it. I just reassemble it and push it through about three times. Doesn't really matter, but for these brass brushes, I hate pulling back in, so we're just going to go straight through one more time. Okay, looks good. All right, now at this point, we're going to go ahead and take one of our jags, one of our patch holders, and assemble that on your cleaning rod. Again, that's a great thing about this kit. Everything's just nice and easy, easy to stow, doesn't take up a lot of room. Now at this point, why don't we just go ahead and run a dry patch through the barrel to push out any carbon fouling that might have been released by that brush that we used. So go ahead and press that through. There we go. Yeah, a little bit came on. Now this time we can go back and forth a couple times. It doesn't matter. You can kind of scrub it a little bit. It's no big deal. Good. There we go. Okay. No problem there. I'm going to go and take a look at the barrel. You guys probably can't tell, but the barrel looks nice and clean inside, nice and shiny. Looks awesome. Okay, now what we want to do is grab a patch and take our lubricant, just a couple drops of lubricant, just enough to basically protect the inside of the barrel. Obviously, the more lubricant you have, the more likely you're going to be to have uh, items build up in that barrel, like dust and lint and stuff like that, especially if you daily carry this pistol. So you want to go very, very light lubricant. This is just a protective coat, okay? All right, go ahead and assemble your patch. Let's go ahead and press it through. I'm just going to kind of pull it through a couple times here. Looks good. Okay. One more time. There we go. Now, you can repeat that process a couple times if you want to, pushing the brush through and the patch through, but this barrel is absolutely dynamite. Looks good. All right, so we're going to set that off to the side. Okay, now at this point, what we want to do is go ahead and lubricate the inside of the slide. It looks like all that cleaner is gone. I see no more liquid residue in there from the uh, cleaner itself. So we want to get this all lubed and ready to go. So go ahead and just put a couple drops of lubricant on your patch and just go ahead and wipe out the inside of the slide. Basically you want all of your metal surfaces to have some sort of lubricant on them. Two or three drops, that's plenty for this. You don't need the gun overly lubricated. And we'll get in those rails here in just a little bit. Get on just everything you can physically get to with your fingers, do so. And what you can't, will apply with the uh, Q-tips here in just a moment with the swabs. Just go ahead and wipe off that striker face real quick. I'm sorry, that uh, firing pin face right there. Keep thinking I'm dealing with the Glock. I'm not. <laughs> sorry to insult you guys that are SIG owners out there. Okay, it looks good. All right, now just go ahead and put a drop of oil on the Q-tip. A couple drops there. Go ahead and run it down the channels on the inside of the slide on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, it looks good. Okay, we're going to catch the other side. Now, you can repeat this process. You can hit it with a dry uh, Q-tip swab if you want to, and then hit it with a wet one again. Uh, if you start to notice a lot of carbon coming off, like this has a little bit, but not much, because this is pretty dry right now. Uh, that looks pretty good. And uh, we'll use one more clean cotton swab here. So on the blunt end, the larger end, again, a couple drops of oil. And the inside of the channels here towards the rear of the slide, you want to get some lubricant in there, so do so. Okay. Nice. Okay, just a little tiny bit there in front where your firing pin comes out. There we go. Awesome. Again, make sure you got a little bit in those channels. Okay, looks good. All right, so the inside has a light coat of oil in it, light coat of lubricant in it. It's all set to go. We'll wipe off the outside of it once we get the gun uh, reassembled, but things are looking really nice right now. All right, now for the uh, guide rod, we're just going to go ahead and put a drop of oil on a patch. And we're going to go ahead and just wipe off that guide rod. There we go. Don't need to over, over lubricate that. One drop of oil is more than adequate. Looks good. Okay. 
And the barrel, okay, I still have the same patch here. Uh, there's just a couple drops of oil on it. We wanna go ahead and wipe off the outside of the barrel. Looks good, this will keep it nice and protected so it doesn't rust and also function properly. Again, a little bit of this lubricant goes a long way, so it does not take much. There we go, looks nice, there we go. All right, now using the fine point of one of those swabs or just the end of any of your cotton swabs, if that's all you have, uh, just put a drop of oil on there and the inside of the lug, this little hole right here, okay, you wanna go ahead and put a little bit of lubricant in there, so we're gonna do that. Let's just get that wiped out. There we go. And essentially, you know, you can start to see the wear, the wear marks that are happening on the barrel, you know, where the paint's starting to, to come through, the finish is starting to finish through, and, and you can see it starting to wear. Those are areas that you definitely want to make sure that you've got lubricant on because those are definite areas of contact. So you don't want to overdo it, but at the same point, you want to make sure you've got something there to protect it. All right, and well, let's go ahead and wipe off the takedown lever with some lubricant because that's also been dried off. And again, it doesn't matter if you've got a blued gun or Cerakoted gun or stainless or whatever you happen to have, you're going to be all set to go. Okay, the spring itself, patch has still got a little bit of lubricant on it. Okay, just go ahead and wipe off the spring. This will prevent it from rusting if it's exposed to any kind of moisture. There we go. Awesome. All right, so now at this point, we are ready for reassembly. Well, there's one more step we want to do real quick. All right, so drop of oil on your cotton swab. And what you want to do is make sure these rails on the uh, top of the frame here have lubricant on them. Not much, just a little tiny bit. You can see where the, again, the finish is wearing through. You can see the bare metal. Make sure you have a little bit on there. Okay, looks good. Okay, looks nice. All right. So we've got that on those rails, a little bit on the back of the hammer here where there's a little bit of uh, wear on that area. All right, and then just one last patch, one or two drops of lubricant on it to wipe out the inside of the frame. Okay, just again, some cor corrosion resistance there. So go ahead and wipe out the inside of the frame, a couple drops of oil on a patch, and then we will begin the process of reassembly. Again, make sure you don't get any oil in the front of that lens if you happen to have a, a laser on the front there, like a Crimson Trace or Viridian. Just gonna wipe off the uh, safety levers there real quick. Looks excellent. All right, so we did not use the little needle oil, or we could have if we wanted to apply some oil, you know, in any of those little nooks or crannies, but uh, this is pretty much uh, pretty straightforward, so I think we're all set here. So we didn't use this, but this does come in handy at any point in the future if we need it, it's there. So with your slide, just go ahead and set your slide down. Uh, what you wanna do is take your barrel and go ahead and just drop it back in. There we go. Make sure it clicks back into place. It should look like this if you properly put the barrel in, if it looks like this. Or if the barrel's sticking out of the bottom, obviously you've got some problems. So, okay, just go ahead and set that right there. Now, the next phase is to go ahead and put your spring back on. There was more of a hooked end of the spring. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's more of a hook on this side than there is on this back side. So that more hooked end is actually what's gonna go in uh, first. So we're gonna go ahead and just press that back into place. So what you're gonna have to do here is you're gonna have to <clears throat> This little cutout that we have on the guide rod, that's going to rest on the top of the barrel. So go ahead and take your guide rod and your spring and press that back into place. Okay, we're just pretty much fishing it back in there. There we go. Excellent. All right. Looks good. Again, it's going to be a little bit tricky because it's not captive, but if you did it properly, you should be able to see the front of the uh, guide rod flush in that hole right there. Okay, that's how it should look from the side. All right. And now for reassembly here, just go ahead and push your slide back on. Ah, you wanna push down on that little hook, okay? And then push your slide over the top when you do so. And that'll latch back into place. Okay, so go ahead and take your takedown lever and press it in the hole. We're gonna kinda of get it set so it'll go back into place. What I like to do is just kinda of pull back on the slide and then it's gonna click back in and let go. So we're applying, we're applying pressure the whole time and then once you get to that little snip right there, once you get to that little half moon cutout, that takedown lever will pop back into place and it's good to go. It's nice and smooth. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, verify function here. Okay, it looks good. Go ahead and check down the chamber. Chamber is empty. No magazine in the firearm. Go ahead and take off the safety and dry fire. Okay, and you are good to go. Excellent. 
All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Little shout out to the Defense Dad channel for loaning us a pistol for this video. And uh, shout out to Aegis Gun Care for supplying us with the clean supplies that we use in the video. Don't forget, you can click on the affiliate link down below, and that will uh, take you directly to the page where you can order the cleaning products that you saw in today's video. They work great. I highly recommend them. Use discount code TravisP11, and you will save 10% off, and you'll be helping out the channel. So thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my other cleaning videos. This is cleaning video number 101. I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe, and as you know, we We'll talk to you soon. All right, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.